Hey there, it's me, Bob. I want to put together a video, or several. This first one, uh, we took some videos over the years of making the flap mechanism work. Now, when we received the aircraft, all of this stuff was in boxes, and it all had to be gone through and figured out what went where and, and how things worked together. And pouring through the books and understanding the complexity of the flaps on an A26 is mind-boggling. All you can do, though, is take the first part, clean it up, get it ready to be in service, and add the next part and the next part and the next part. And then once you get it installed, uh, you go through the, the massive amounts of, of thinking to make sure that everything is is correctly rigged once it's rigged then it needs to be safety and all this time you're testing it so i've got a series of five videos after the installation had occurred where we're demonstrating and and uh, making sure that this mechanism works properly without uh, running into other things. I hope you enjoy the video and we'll, uh, I'll catch you at the end. Go ahead and run it. Okay. Go the other way. Keep on keeping on. Go ahead and crank it up, Jan. Huh? Go ahead and put it to it. How much more? You're only halfway. Keep going. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Keep going. You got a long ways. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going right there. Hey, small. Stall. Oh, okay. So this thing. That so now awesome. grab the flap now, Max. Oh yeah, that's solid. Are they tied together? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, run the run it back down now, Dan. Ready? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, 
missing something. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Keep going. You know there's a missing bolt in this uh, drive shaft. Running out of battery. Still make it though. Maybe. Stop it a little more. more. A little more. Right there. That's where your rubber's going. So just to give you an explanation of what's going on in the video, there are, in each wing, there are five transmissions. One, there's three for the outboard flap. There are two for the inboard flap. There's one central motor in the fuselage on the rear wing spar, and it drives drive shafts out to the ends of the flaps. And so all of those transmissions, after they're rebuilt, have to be timed. And there are three positions on each transmission that the drive line can tie into. So you've got pretty infinite adjustments along this drive shaft to get the flaps up and down. Um, there are literally thousands of parts involved in the flaps. Um, we now have everything operational. It's all safety. Uh, it's rigged. It's very, very smooth. And uh, one of these days I'll do a video on all of the stuff that's actually functioning in the aircraft at this point, which is a lot. Um, you know, I, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll be back with another update soon. Thanks for watching.